Let's take a look at how to multiply decimals with numbers up to 10. Okay, one times some number is equal to 2.5. Well, remember, multiplying by one doesn't change our number, so it must have been 2.5, right? One times 2.5 would equal 2.5. Five times 4.2. Okay, so let's multiply this out. Now remember, when you multiply, you can say five times 4.2, or you can say 4.2 times five, and they're gonna give you the same answer. I like to write the number with more digits on the top, just because it makes it a little easier for me. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my five and multiply it by both digits. Five times two gives me 10, so I'm gonna write zero and carry the one, Five times four gives me 20, plus the extra one makes it 21. Now don't forget about your decimal point. We had one digit after the decimal point here, so I need to make sure one of these digits goes after the decimal point in my answer. So I get 21.0, which is the same thing as just 21. Two times some number is equal to 2.4. Okay, well, you can work backwards to figure this out. Two times some number equals 2.4, so that means if I take my 2.4 and divide it by two, that'll give me the number it was multiplied by. So let's think of this as 2.4 divided by two to figure out what our missing number would be. Remember when you're dividing with decimals, you need to make sure to put your decimal right above our decimal answer here. Two goes into two one time, right? Two times one is two. We're gonna bring down the four and two goes into four two times. So 1.2. Now another way to think about this is that when you multiply by two, you double the number. So you could also say, well, what's half of 2.4, which is 1.2. So either way, you can divide to go backwards, or you can say, what number, when I double it, will give me 2.4? One times 1.3. Well, remember, multiplying by one doesn't change our number at all. So one times 1.3 must be 1.3. Three times 3.6. Okay, well let's multiply. Remember you can write the three or the 3.6 first. So I'm gonna write 3.6 and then I'm gonna multiply by three. Let's see what that gives us. Okay, so three times six gives me 18, so I'm gonna write eight and carry the one. Three times three gives me nine, plus the extra one makes it 10. Now notice there was one digit after my decimal point here, so I need to make sure to put one digit after my decimal point in my answer. So 